Yo, what is up guys? Your boy is back. We took a little hiatus off the channel. We had to regroup, recalibrate. We went camping over the weekend. I'm freaking back and I'm more excited than ever. And something I'm noticing right when I'm getting back in here, there are a lot of new eyes on this channel. I want to give a big shout out to PokerRev. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate the collab work as always. It's always a pleasure working with you. And you, and for you guys that are here from PokerRev's channel, and a lot of you guys that are members of the Vault Squad are from Rev's channel, I want to thank you all, and I hope I can live up to the expectation of bringing you that next level type of content and just overall fun in the live events. Yes! You know, because that's what we're about here. We're about having a good time. We're about the community, and we're definitely about taking care of our own. And I want to welcome each and every one of you that came over from PokerRev. All right, let's get into today's episode. Today we're going to be talking about three very specific sets that I broke down in price per card. There's been a lot of movement uh, in some of these sets and I want to take a look at it and I want to look at some of the sets that might be more profitable to invest in or take a position on just because of how strong the, you know, the single prices are because I think that's where all the future value and that's the root of the value and then it goes up from there obviously with graded cards, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to look at three very specific sets and I'm going to be giving you some in-depth financial knowledge uh, on how these are selling and how these are holding their value. All right, guys, the first set we're going to look at today is Cosmic Eclipse. All right, so once again, guys, this is one of those sets that we've been looking at. Let me hit you with some knowledge right here. Let me just hit you with some, some cold hard facts. At the time that I took down this data, there were 20 Cosmic Eclipse cards that we're selling for over twenty dollars. That's a lot. Okay, that's the most on our list. But I don't know that that's that this set is the one that holds the most value. And I'm gonna sh I'm gonna tell you why. Important info. So stick around to the end of the episode. So twenty cards over twenty dollars. That comes out to a total value. So of these cards that you're seeing here of eight hundred and twenty-two dollars. If we took that and divided it by twenty, we're trying to find our average price per card on the big hitters, right? Because we're using that $20 threshold. You average out at $41.10 on those big hitter cards. That's an average. So if you're, math, if you're a math guy, this means something to me. I want to know what my average hit ratio is, how I'm going to do money-wise on price per card. Now, let's compare that to the price of the box, right? So the price of the box is $500. I personally think that Cosmic Eclipse is way undervalued when it comes to the pi price of the box. That's me personally. Take it for what it is, my own opinion. You can buy a single pack if it's from a reputable source and you can somehow guarantee that it's not, you know, weighed or tampered with for about 12 to $15, okay? So these are all things that are important and all things you want to take into consideration, guys. What's your risk factor? What's it going to take you to get into this set, take a position on the set? What I'm currently doing, and this is the honest to God's truth, I'm buying big lots of loose packs from reputable sources because I can get that bottom line dollar per pack. So that's something that I'm doing. Spend your money how you want. But if we're just looking at the cards, guys, there has been movement. I don't know if you guys have, have taken a look at this. The Full Art Arceus has overtaken the Rosa, right? Now, something to, to take into consideration with single values. They can definitely range. There, I would say that there's a 30% plus or negative gap on the values. And I'll tell you why. If you have a card that's in pristine condition, it is going to demand pristine value. So that is something to consider. These prices are based off of last sold, last sold on eBay, which I personally believe is the authority on value, you know, for, for our hobby, right? What we do every day, our, our sickness. So that's something to consider. Also, you need to take a look at the artworks and which cards you think are going to rise to the top, right? So the strong always survive, right? So we want to, we want to pinpoint, like if I were just scrolling through these, I'm going to pinpoint a few artworks and pokemon for certain reasons right i like this charizard and braxton card i like this hyper rare blastoise and piplup for 30 dollars if i can get it mint right i i like that card same here with the rcs boys okay all winners we know that this card for sure for sure is a pickup i can see this card going for some bigger coin later on down the road the psa 10 on this card not gonna lie to you is a bit of a bargain right there are a lot of them, 1,692, but I, we are starting to see a little bit of an uptick when it comes to the value of this card. You can pick up a PSA 10 of this for about $170. Always, guys, if you're looking to take a position on a certain set, take a look at what the PSA 10s are selling for. Look at the the you know the population report, for goodness sake. So like this card right here, 
this is this was a fan favorite for a long time a lot of movement right a lot of vertical movement up and down up and down one thing to note there are much less of these in pop in in circulation in a psa 10 right now they may not be the hottest cards right not everyone is a Braxton fan. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Braxton is riding Charizard like a freaking old donkey right here. So maybe people don't like that. But maybe down the road, if the population report stays in order, 269 now is going to be a bargain down the road. Something to consider. All right, guys. So let's look at our next set in terms of value. And that's going to be, of course, Evolving Skies. All right, guys. So what do we know about Evolving Skies? Someone is obviously tampering with the system. They are causing some sort of a glitch in the system or people just love this set. Now, we all know about the Moonbrion. This little freaking language. This little guy is selling for 845 in a PSA 10. And then the loose copy, eBay has it last sold at 409, probably a min copy. ECG is reaching a new level on this card at 441. It's absolutely obscene. Look at the vertical, guys. Okay, right here. We're looking above my, my, my dome. Look at the vertical on this card. It is absolutely insane. And this is for a PSA 10. Now, people that were buying right here, man, they must feel like a genius, right? They bought it at 600 bucks. They... This, this card is so volatile. I'm gonna tell you guys something, and this is from, you know, from me, from me to you, from your friend. Take a look. Take a look at this card. Make a good decision. Be hesitant. There's a lot of volatility in this card. A whole bunch of volatility. So, you know, do your due diligence. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want anyone to feel a certain kind of way if they bought it at 900 or, or 600. But for this card to move $200 within two months, that really, really sets off some alarm bells for me. Something is going on, and I'm not gonna say that they're being, you know, manipulated or the, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just not gonna say. I feel weird about it. This is going to a new level where it feels like, it almost feels like GameStop, you know, like stock. When you, if you remember, if you know what that, what I'm talking about, it's just, it's an odd feeling. But let's go to the numbers. 16 cards over $20 and the total cost if you were to buy up all the top cards would cost you $1,544 if we took that and divided it by 16 that gives us an average cost per top card of $96.50 which is literally double cosmic eclipse it's more than double it's insane it's ridiculous it's because there's so many cards over $100 right so it drags the average up box price of this set you're seeing the boxes go for over two hundred dollars which is kind of nutty because we are speculating that third print run has less hits i don't know some may agree some may disagree i feel like it has less hits and the box are still fetching over two hundred dollars one thing that i would note is maybe try to snipe the single pack single packs you can still buy them for for five dollars i think that's a bargain if you are trying to hunt for these bigger cards maybe make a sale make a trade make a flip whatever it is that's something to note. The the pra the pack price is still staying down, which is you know which is important. That that is that is literally important when we're talking about these different sets. Man, this is just an anomaly. I just I still can't get over this four hundred nine dollar price. I don't know. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. It's just you know it's a head scratcher. It is a literal head scratcher. All right, guys. Last but not least, we are going to be talking about a set that you probably didn't think that we'd be talking about, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again chilling rain all right guys let's take a look at chilling rain when i took this data down 13 cards over 20 dollars for a total average price of 579 dollars if you were to buy up all the top end hits if we divide it up by 13 we have an, an average price per card at 44 dollars and 53 cents now if we go back to cosmic eclipse that is a higher average in total but there are nearly half the amount of hits there's something to note there but where chilling rain shines is that you can still get a box for a hundred dollars and the price per pack i've seen reputable companies which i would buy packs from at two dollars and fifty cents now guys if we're looking at a set that we can take a position on okay we got that champagne taste but we have a beer budget okay 
this is the set and I'm saying it now maybe I'll be wrong but I don't think I am after seeing all this data I don't think that I'm wrong I mean the artworks in this set are amazing this is this is literally for me nearly the polar opposite of Evolving Skies. Although it doesn't have as many alternate arts as Evolving Skies, this set has incredible cards, and for the single packs to be going off at $2.50 is completely mind-boggling to me. And maybe some of you guys feel the same, maybe you don't. Like this card right here, in my opinion, we've talked about the Galarian Moltres. This card is confusing at best. Obviously, there's upward movement. You guys can't see it, there we go. So there's some, up there's some upward movement on this card, fair. There's only 581 of these in a PSA 10, okay? CGC has it right at $90. PSA 10 is $351, which is so interesting because you can get a Charizard and Braxton for less. So there's something weird happening. There's half as many, though. There's something weird happening with the values of these cards. They're all over the place. It's really, really, really difficult for someone like me who's interested in the value to try to go in and, and decipher what is happening in these sets. But... The data, you cannot lie. Um, in terms of value, I really, really like Chilling Rain because uh, you can get it for so cheap. So you can definitely go alternate art, alternate art hunting, and not have to, you know, sell plasma. So that's gonna be it for me, guys. I know this was a quick little hitter. I hope it was interesting and fun to watch in some way. We're just looking at the data, man. I don't even know. I appreciate all you guys that are here from Rev's channel. Stick around. We like to have fun around here. I'm going to see you guys on the next live or the next episode. Peace out, guys. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's time to hit the button already. Do it now. What do you think? I'm dancing for free here?